Hello everyone, this is Katie here. In this video, we are going to do English grammar topic tenses. So watch it attentively and carefully. Happy watching. Tenses. Tenses is very important in the school level as it is associated with the basic of English grammar. Not only tenses are important in the primary level, but it is also important in high classes. It's going to catch you till class 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. What are tenses? Tenses expresses its timing according to verbs. Whatever action we do, it is expressed by tenses. The actions what we have done, the action which we are going to do, or the action which we are doing. All these things are expressed by tenses. Now, what are verb tenses? The tense of a verb tells you when a person did something or when something existed or happened. In English, there are three main tenses, that is the present, the past and the future. So verb tense are very important. Now the present. I am going to discuss with you the present tense. Actually, its uses. What are the uses of present tense actually? The present tense, example, I am, she walks, we swim, they believe, is also called the present simple or simple present tense. Now let's see what are the uses. Present means the timing now. It's mainly used in the following ways. Let's see how. Why we use the present tense? Let's see. To describe the things that are currently, that's been now, happening, or that are currently or always the case. Suppose, see this sentence. I love chocolate ice cream. My parents are in New York this week. He has fair hair and blue eyes. Some birds eat worms and insects. All these are present tense because in all these sentences you can see this bold letter, bold words, love, are, has, eat, all these expresses the present tense. Now present tense is also used to talk about something that exists or happens regularly. Point to be noted, what things happens or exist regularly, this means every time. At that time also we use the present tense. See the sentence, she goes out every Saturday night. It always rains here in winter. I start work at 7.30 a.m. These are the sentences in which we are saying how the work goes on every time. Now the simple present tense is also used to refer to a future situation in certain cases and in some subordinate clauses. The bus arrives in London at 6 p.m. I will make us some coffee when we get home. So these were the present tense. Now past tense. Let's see the past tense. The past tense. Example, I was, he, talk, we had, they walk, is also called the past simple or simple past. As is description implies, it is used to talk about the things or situation which happened in the past. Obviously, what already finished, what already happened, that we express in the past tense. 
as this description implies it's used to talk about things or situation which happened in the past that is before the present time of speaking its main uses are as follows now i'm going to explain you the main uses of the past tense as i have told you what were the main uses of the present now where past tense we use keep this in mind i'm going to explain past tense is used to refer to an event or situation which happened once and is now finished point to be noted which happened once but it now finished we express to say this we express past for example you see the sentence i met lisa yesterday that's been action past we ate a huge breakfast this morning that's been already the breakfast had gone they walked 10 miles that day that's been already they walked 10 miles that day that's been the day past you told me that before that's been whatever has been told has been told before that's been in all these sentences we can see that we are expressing the past now see here we also used past tense to describe a situation that lasted for a longer time in the past but is now finished for example he went to college for 4 years my family lived in oxford in the 1980s i loved her for ages but never told her all these actions going taking longer time but it happened in the past now we also use past tense to talk about an event that happened regularly or repeatedly but is now over for example she called for help over and over again we ate out every night last week i phoned him three months three times today that's mean all these actions taking repeatedly now i am coming to the future tense the future tense all of you know the future tense mean the time which yet to come which has not come that is the future tense the future tense example i shall or will go he will talk we shall or will have they will walk is used to refer to things that haven't yet happened at the present time of speaking but which are due expected or likely to occur in the future here are the main situations in which the future is used for example you can see these example these sentences to give or ask for information about the future you will be in california tomorrow how long will the journey take okay i will write that report on thursday all these things the action has not taken place is going to take place for all these things we use future tense then future tense we also use to talk about things that we think are likely or possible to happens in the future but which aren't completely certain for example i think she will retire soon he won't will not stay married to her for long you will never lose weight you like food too much all these sentences expresses the things that we think are likely or possible to happen in the future now where future tense we use let's see have a look here also we use also future tense to refer or to coordinational situations namely things that will or may happen if something else occurs for example if it is hot i will go swimming later you will get stress out if you walk all the time that's mean these are the sentences we say the conditional situation now future tense is also used to make promises 
or tweets or to state decision at the time of speaking. For example, fine, I will call you soon. Are you going into town? We will give you a lift. I will never speak to you again. These are the confirmation which the speaker is going to say. So these are future tense. Now come to continues and perfect tenses. Continues mean going on and perfect where the action has completed. There are two further types of tenses. That means actually the form of tenses, the continuous and the perfect. These tenses are sometimes referred to as aspects rather than tenses. The term aspect is used in grammar to talk about the form of a verb that shows, for example, whether the action happens once or repeatedly, is completed or is still continuing. So, I am going to explain you more about continued, continuous and perfect tenses. So, let's have a look here and let's see what are the uses of this continuous and perfect tenses. Now we are in a continuous tenses. Now let's see what are the uses of continuous tenses and how and where we use continuous tenses. These tenses also called progressive tenses. Continuous also called progressive tenses are used to talk about actions that continue for a period of time. They are formed with the relevant tense of the auxiliary verb to be and the present participle of the main verb. There are three main continuous tenses, that is the present continuous tense, for example, I am walking. The past continuous tense, example, I was walking and the future continuous tense, I will be walking. So you can see with the help of the example also the difference, I am walking, I was walking and I will be walking. It's participle, that means ing form is used. Now let me tell you what is a participle. A participle is a word formed from a verb, usually by adding d, ed or ing, especially ing. These are two kinds of participles. There are two kinds of participles in English. Those are the present participles and the past participles. The present participles. The present participle ends with ing. Example, we are going to Italy. The company is building new headquarters in the UK. And the past participle. The past participle ends with D or ED for regular verb. Example, she had decided to go to Italy. Fans had camped outside the studio. So these were the present and the past participles. Present participle is formed by adding ing and past participle is formed by adding D or ED. Now perfect. Now come to perfect tenses. Perfect, that means the action has already completed. It means perfect tense. Perfect tenses are typically used to talk about actions that are completed by the present or a particular point in the past or future. They are formed with the relevant tenses of the auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb means helping verbs to have and the past participle of the main verb. There are three main perfect tenses. What are those? The present perfect tense, example, I have walked. The past perfect tense, example, I had walked. The future perfect tense, example, I will have walked. It is noted that the main verb walked, the third form has been used. Remember, in perfect tense always the third form is used. Now perfect continuous. That means half of the, in this tense what happens, half of the work is done and still the work is not completed and going on. In that instances we use perfect continuous tense. There is a final set of tenses which combine features of the perfect and continuous tenses. They are formed and used as follows. Let's see. The present perfect continuous. Example, I have been walking. Used to tell 
talk about how long something has continued up till now. I have been working there for a week. Okay. Now the past perfect continuous. I had been walking. It is utilized by this. I had been walking. It is used to talk about something which continued up to a particular moment in the past but is now completed. Example, I had been walking there for a week before I resigned. Now come to the future perfect continuous. Means it is formed by I will have been walking. Used to talk about something which is expected to end by a particular time in the future. For example, by December, I will have been walking there for six months. That means perfect continuous tense. These are the uses I have shown where in present perfect continuous it is shown that to talk about how long something has continued up till now. The past perfect continuous is used to talk about something which continued up to a particular moment in the past but is now completed. And the future perfect continuous is used to talk about something which is expected to end by a particular time in the future. So this was the last form of the tenses that is perfect continuous tense. Now come to the rules of the tenses. The rules of the tenses is very important in grammar. Now let's see how grammar rules are formed whatever I have explained you now. See this rule, tense rules. See to make simple present to simple form progressive form that's been continuous form and perfect form and perfect progressive form that's been perfect continuous form these are the sets these are the examples to make present simple tense first we use first form plus s or es with the verb for making present progressive form we use am is or are with the subject plus first form of the verb plus ing to make present perfect form have or has plus third form of the verb to make present perfect progressive forms subject plus have or has been plus first form plus ing like that past simple forms also second form of the verb will be used in past progressive form was or were plus first form of the verb plus ing to make past perfect forms had plus third form then past perfect progressive form had been plus first form plus ing like that future simple forms will be formed by will or shall plus first form of the verb for future progressive form will be plus first form plus ing with the verb to make future perfect forms the formula is will have plus third form of the verb Future perfect progressive forms to make it we will do will have been plus first form of the verb plus ing. So these were the rules of tenses how we will actually form tenses. Always remember the third form of the verb mean the third part like do did done done is the third form. Here also we can see the examples of how tenses are formed present simple in sentence form I do present continuous I am doing present perfect I have done present perfect continuous I have been doing like that past simple I did past continuous I was doing past perfect I had done past perfect continuous I had been doing like that future simple I shall do Future continuous, I shall be doing. Future perfect, I shall have done. And for future perfect continuous, I shall have been doing. So these were the rules I have explained how to form tenses. By these two tables, you can properly understand how to utilize tenses and how to form different form of the tenses. I hope you all have understood this video. Goodbye. Thank you. Here, in these examples, 
we can clearly explain the present and present progressive tenses you can see here the explanation is given along with the proper sentences like action that is repeated every friday is habitual action present simple is i visit my uncle every friday like that facts that are believed to be true generation cats hate mice like that and here also you can see present perfect and present perfect progressive here the proper examples along with proper sentence has been given if you look at it you can pause the video and you can go through it you can easily understand left hand side the explanation is given and right hand side the sentence is given you can see here here the past simple and past progressive mean progressive mean continuous if you don't i know it's lots of sentences and explanation are there if you are feeling difficulties you can pause the video and then you can see and understand properly you can pause the video and also see left hand side is the explanation and right hand side of the table the sentences are there here the past perfect simple and past perfect progressive that's been past perfect continuous has been shown if any of you want to note down you can pause this video and copy it down also for better understanding you can pause the video stop it and see here the future simple and future continuous that is future progressive left hand side the explanation is given and right hand side the sentences is given of the particular tenses and form you have to understand it very keenly and properly here the last form that is future perfect and future perfect progressive that is continuous so i hope you have understood the tenses properly because i have tried my level best to make you clear and understand and all the concept i have implied here for your better understanding i hope you have understand the video so goodbye we will see you again bye